Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this meeting of the New York City Council Health Committee. I'm Mark Levine, Chair. Pleased that we are joined by fellow Health Committee members, Councilmember Alika Amprey Samuel, Keith Powers, and Bob Holden. Today we're going to be considering Intro 1362A, which will ensure that our city finally belatedly address a health crisis which this country has been ignoring over more than four years since this epidemic started to mount. Uh, this country did nothing when electronic cigarettes that look like really cool flash drives started to emerge on stores in this city and around the country. This country, this city did nothing when flavors like mango and mint and cotton candy and berry crush vaping products and all sorts of minty, candy, fruity sounding flavors began to appear on the shelves of this city. We did nothing when the estimated number of young people vaping reached three and a half million last year or when it reached close to five million earlier this year. This is a failing at every level of government, including and especially at the federal level. The most grotesque recent example being when the Trump administration, after some grand promises, did a total 180 and as recently as last week has made it clear they are taking no action. Most sources cite the intense lobbying pressure of the vaping industry as the reason for their turnaround. So in that context, I am just incredibly proud that in New York City we are taking action. We're taking action against the flavored e-cigarette product, uh, e e products, which are hooking kids um, by enacting this law. I want to make it clear that we have listened in intently, attentively to adult smokers who have told us that they rely on e-cigarettes, and it's partly for that reason that we are going to continue to allow the sale of vaping devices, of tobacco-flavored e-cigarettes, um, but ultimately, I'm not shy about saying that our priority is the health of kids. And while the estimated percent of adults who vape is about 3%, one quarter of high schoolers in the past year have vaped. One quarter. One tenth of middle schoolers have vaped. So there's just no doubt that this is predominantly a phenomena of young people who have been ensnared in addiction, a whole generation of young people who are now in the grips of nicotine addiction because we waited four years to rein this in. And I'm proud that we are doing so today in the New York City Council. Um, and I want to encourage all my colleagues to vote in favor of this, uh, this intro, 1362A and... Um, Unless there are any comments, I'm going to ask Billy Martin, our committee clerk, to call the roll. Roll call vote, Committee on Health, introduction 1362A, Chair Levine. Vote aye. Ampri Samuel. Permission to explain my vote quickly. Um, um, first, I want to say congratulations on such a meaningful um, bill to the chair and everyone else who was involved. On Friday in my district office, um, one of my tenant association presidents um, came to see me to pick up turkeys. And um, she said that she was late because she was at Mamadi's hospital with her nephew, who, um, who's a very young man, and his lungs collapsed. And they collapsed because of vaping. And he, um, the entire family is, um, you know, right now just trying to come to grips of what's happening. He's on a ventilator. And, um, you know, these are stories that you hear about them, of course, in the media, but you um, sometimes folks don't really recognize how close to home it hits um, with families and, and friends um, and constituents. And so, um, again, congratulations. This is very serious across the entire country, and I'm glad that we're doing something in the city. And um, so my, my vote today is, um, is with my colleagues and also just thinking about uh, Ms. Scarborough and her family today um, um, and praying for her nephew who is at Mamadi. So with that, I vote aye. Holden. I vote aye. Powers. Permission to explain my vote, please. Yeah. 
Thank you. Um, thank you. Well, I, I join uh, Councilmember Amphrey Samuel, both uh, well wishes towards the Scarborough and, um, and also uh, in terms of the seriousness of this issue. But I'll say it is very rare uh, and it's not often that we get to vote on legislation that will directly impact somebody's life today and also be preventative to saving people's lives in the future or at the minimum minimizing risk that so, of exposure that many individuals have either by vaping or smoking uh, or similar activities. This is a, a, a vote where we get to actually do that. We get to actually prevent folks from vaping or taking up uh, similar activity um, today and we get to save somebody's life I think both now and in the future. I want to congratulate Councilmember Levine. I know he's been working at this for uh, a year and plus, and I know uh, myself and colleagues have heard from a number of folks and groups and invested uh, those in the, invested in the industry as well about the concerns about this bill. That to me just tells you how much and how important it actually is, is that we are uh, up against some Goliaths here, but what we're doing today is actually uh, helping out uh, young New Yorkers, but actually adult New Yorkers as well. And and I think that with the emergence of uh, e-cigarettes and vaping, it has uh, we have we have appropriately stigmatized smoking in this country. But I think vaping is still a new industry that people are treating with with, with um, without the similar harms or risks of smoking. And I think uh, uh, we will find out the repercussions of that in years ahead. But I think today is a for against that by preventing uh, individuals from um, some very dangerous behavior and potentially dangerous behavior. So congratulations to Councilmember Levine. Thank you to my colleagues for sponsoring this, and I proudly vote aye. Thank you, thank you so much, Councilmember Powers. And we've now been joined by fellow committee member, Councilmember Cohen. Councilmember Cohen. And I vote aye. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Okay, well, if, if possible, leave the vote open for a few minutes. Thank you.